CryptoLocker is a ransomware Trojan. It is a ransomware because its main goal is to take something from the computer that's been infected and hold it ransom for, for a ransom. And it is a Trojan because the way it is distributed and how it, and what it does when it's on the computer. A Trojan is basically something that is deceptive. It gets on the computer as a different kind of file, but when the user clicks on it, it performs a malicious act in the background that is not visible to the user, and that's what a Trojan is. A virus has as its main uh, objective to replicate itself whatever it infects. If it infects a computer, it tries to replicate itself and create as many copies of it as possible. CryptoLocker falls in the category of malware because it has the goal to perform a malicious activity that is very specific and it has very specific places that it puts itself on only to perform this activity, only to encrypt the files of the victim and um, create a, a, a copy of the key locally and the other portion of the encryption key gets sent to the attacker and that's how he can um, force the victim to pay whatever they ask for in order to unencrypt the files. The most common vector of infection recently has been email. Uh, they have been using social engineering emails, uh, making people believe that they are tracking updates from FedEx or, or UPS and making people click on them and once they open the email and click on the, on the, on the file attached, uh, that's when uh, the file gets on the computer. First off is being very careful and being very aware when you're using your email. Um, other, it, it's, it's having uh, some sort of protection and a, a layer of prote uh, protection on your computers at home and especially in your business. Um, some sort of antivirus protection and make sure it's up to date and uh, if possible uh, an anti-spam uh, protection on your email. It's actually very tricky to remove CryptoLocker as it places itself in many different systems, uh, parts of the computer. Um, we really recommend when it comes to CryptoLocker, the best way to get rid of is performing a cleaning uh, reinstall of Windows on the computer. That is the safest way out. There's really now a, a targeted audience when it comes to CryptoLocker as these attacks are just uh, they, they're just batch of attacks. They just start sending emails to however many email addresses they have available. Um, in many cases, uh, there is targeted attacks, but those are uh, very few cases, and those are concentrated for on, on businesses more than individuals. But it, it, there, the, the amount of people that gets infected on, on either side, either individuals or businesses, is, is very wide. So it, it's just the general public, anybody can get it. We go back to, to the layers of security, um, having different layers of security. The first one at the perimeter, you want to have a firewall. Uh, you want to have security policies in place that don't allow unnecessary traffic into your network. Um, then at the endpoint level, that's your computer, you're going to need to have an antivirus and a live protection, something that is filtering the web browsing or, or the interaction with the internet that the user is having, something that can identify a malicious activity on the computer and stop it. If you're at Delaney Computer Services, we provide our customers with a security blanket that starts at the perimeter with a, a, a firewall that is configured properly and kept up to date. Um, we go down to the computer and we have uh, different monitoring agents inside the computer. One of them uh, maintains an enterprise level antivirus that is kept up to date and has uh, live protection that is beyond performing uh, virus scans on their computer. It, it's actively looking and analyzing the interaction of the user with the web browser and if it identifies a malicious activity, it'll, it'll stop that activity. 
um, this security blanket that we offer also has a URL filtering component that checks the reputation of the website that the user is going to in order to allow it and and it'll uh, it'll block when there is a known phishing site which is where you end up if you are getting infected with CryptoLocker. The very first thing you should do if you suspect you're infected with CryptoLocker is to shut your computer down right away. Um, this virus is, is a ticking time bomb. The moment you click on it, it starts trying to encrypt your files and it'll continue to do so for as long as the computer is on. So the first, the very first step will be to shut the computer down. And the very next step is to call a, a, a professional, something that has experience working with security. And, uh, you know, here at Delaney Computer Services, we have developed a system to uh, clean and maintain computers that have been infected with CryptoLocker. CryptoLocker is such a damaging virus that can spread through a network very quickly. For this reason, we recommend shutting the computer down as soon as it's, it's become infected. Should you see any sign of infection, shut the computer right down and the most important thing, it needs to be removed from the network that it's on. As, as I mentioned, it could infect other computers that are on the network and inclusive a server. <music> when we, we talk about CryptoLocker, it's very important to talk about backup. It is a must to have a backup on computers, and I know it becomes uh, a noise for many people because you hear from everybody in the IT world, do you have a backup, you need a backup, but the importance of it comes up very often when we're talking about infection like this. If you do not have a backup and you are infected with CryptoLocker, your data is gone in most cases. You're not going to be able to get it unless you pay a ridiculous amount of money to the attacker. Um, so that is why we at Delaney Computer Services are very aware of this and we have different levels of backup, not just one backup. We, we try to make sure that our customers are protected in, in, in different levels. We have operating system level backups, we have physical local backups, and then we have off-site backups. And lastly, that off-site backup is replicated geographically to other locations. So that's why it's so important to keep a backup approach that is bulletproof, if you will.